Hey, Mr. Pruch here again with some uh, more at-home tennis skills. Um, today, I've changed uh, the equipment that I'm using. Um, instead of my frying pan racket, I'm using a wooden spoon that is taped to the back of a Tupperware container lid. Um, and for my ball, I'm using just a little um, cat toy. Um, it's actually kind of like a yarn ball. Um, and our first skill that we're going to be doing today um, is the forehand swing. And we're going to be doing some volleying. Um, so if you have an indoor space, um, like I have here, a blank open wall, I'm going to be doing some very carefully, some um, forehand volleying against this wall today. All right, so our first skill challenge is going to be if I can volley 10 times in a row against this wall without losing control of the ball. See if I can do it. You notice when I was doing this, um, my the motion of my swing is always should be low to high when I'm making contact with uh, the ball, so that if I was playing an actual game of tennis, the ball could go up and over the net. Okay. Now my second challenge, I'm going to see if I can add on to this and see if I can do 20 in a row. Okay. Let's see if I can do it. Instead of using the spoon side of my racket as my backhand swing, all I'm going to do is simply turn the racket over so that my forehand swing is the spoon side and the backhand swing is the open side. That's going to help me out a lot better. Okay? So our first challenge is uh, see if we can get 10 backhand volleys off the wall. Ready? Right? Um, our second challenge for the back end is going to be see if we can get 20 in a row. And now if that was too difficult for you, maybe you can go down and see if you can get 5 or 7 in a row. Um, and then work your way up to 10, 15, 20. Okay? Um, I'm going to give my attempt at 20 in a row, and we'll move on. is going to be an alternating volley between forehand and backhand using the wall. Um, so for example, you're going to start with a forehand, hit a forehand off the wall. When it comes back, you're going to return it with a backhand and so on. Okay. So our first challenge is going to see if we can get 10 in a row, which would be five forehand and five backhand by the time you're finished. Ready? second challenge is, um, this is going to be very difficult, but if you want to try it, you can. It's going to be 25 in a row, okay? So 25 forehand, backhand, alternating bottles, right? Set of challenges. Um, I'm going to start down on my knees for. Um, we're going to be doing some dribbling now with our tennis racket and tennis ball. Um, I have switched my ball back to the little rubber basketball that bounced a little bit better um, for these set of challenges. Um, our first challenge is going to be using our forehand side of our racket to see if we can dribble the ball 10 times in a row without losing control. Right? <laughs> Now my second challenge, I'm going to see if I can up that number to 25 in a row. Ready? towards a bigger goal than 25, you can. Um, we are going to move on now to using the backhand uh, motion for our dribbling. So again, instead of using the backhand spoon side, I'm just going to switch my racket over so that my backhand um, grip is now the open side of the racket. And again, we're going to do 10 dribbles in a row. Ready? <laughs> So 
The, the difference here is you're just working some different muscles in your arm um, and getting uh, your muscles used to a forehand and a backhand grip, okay? So our second challenge is going to be 25 in a row using the backhand grip. Ready? <laughs> challenge here um, this is uh, this is going to be some more dribbling skills but if you want to add in a little more um, uh, of an extra challenge to yourself um, what you can do is come over to a wall and you just do a nice little wall sit and then you can work in 10 or 20 dribbles while you're doing your wall sits here okay ready <laughs> Tired or you lose control of your ball, just slide yourself up and you're done. <laughs> 